everyone, it's Janet here with a really fun, quick and simple card for you that has a fun little twist on a window for you. It features my favorite suite from the 2018 spring catalog, the Petal Palette um, Stamps and Coordinating Framelits. You have these beautiful images just waiting to be colored, but they also look pretty just monochromatic or stamped with a single color. And then beautiful, fun greetings, some little dots to add some texture and emphasis. And then as part of the framelits, you're able to cut out some of the images, but they've also included some fun framelits, again, for adding some texture and some interest to your projects. So let's take a look at putting this card together. So the elements that you're going to need for this card, you're going to need a Memento Black ink pad. I've chosen to work with the Dark Calypso Coral Blend, as well as the Light Pumpkin Pie Blend, the Light and Dark Combo of Old Olive, a Color Lifter. In addition, I will be working with the Wink of Stella. I have Basic Black Cardstock. I have Window Acetate, and this is indeed found in the annual Stampin' Up! catalog. I have some Paper Cut from the Petal Palette Designer Paper Suite and um, we're ready to go, okay? So let's just start first by folding this card and getting it up and out of our way. Um, it is a half sheet of eight and a half by 11, so it's eight and a half by five and a half. And where's my scoring tool? There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and on the inside, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my inside layer already to it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna mess up. I feel confident. Now watch me mess up. I'm probably setting myself up, right? So we're going to set that down inside. So now the very first thing that we want to do is I want to take this card now that it's cut and I'm going to grab my trimmer and let's turn it around this way and I'm going to lay this in, oops, the other way around. I'm going to put this, the fold on one and a half. Okay, so at one and a half, I am going to go ahead and just slice a section off. So one and a half, I've put that fold at the one and a half mark and I've sliced. Then from this piece here, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a one and a quarter inch slice. This extra piece you don't need, you can put it in your scrap bin and save it for something fun in the future because I know that you're going to save it. The next thing that we're going to work with then is that piece of acetate that we talked about, okay, that you have handy. And glue dots. And you only need just a couple of glue dots. We don't want to go crazy on the glue dots because we want to keep the inside looking pretty. And so let's go ahead and up here in this corner of the basic black, I'm putting one glue dot. Up here in this corner, I'm going to put another one. I'm going to lay my acetate so that it's up into the crease and I'm going to fold this down onto the acetate. And you can already see that I have this flap going on. If you've not cut it quite straight, like I kind of overcut that just a little bit, you can either use your trimmer or you can use your scissors and just the edge of the card to make sure that you have that straight. Now, for this piece, this goes down here in the bottom, just like that. So down in the lower two corners, I'm also going to add a glue dot. One. Two. And this is gonna go right down in here. Now, I cut mine, I said, at one and a half and one and a quarter. You can alter that. You guys have the ability to be creative and to experiment. I chose that size because of the size opening I wanted. You could make this a lot wider. You could make it a lot tinier. You could make this a circle, an oval, all kinds of possibilities. But for right now, I did the one and a half and one and a quarter because of the greeting and the way I wanted it to pop. So there's the very basic of our card. Again, we folded it in half. We cut at the one and a half inch. So this flap here is one and a half inches. From the piece that was left over, I cut myself a one and a quarter inch strip, and then I laid it onto back. And you can see there's just those four little dots, and it's not um, uh, obtrusive, it doesn't bother you, it's not distracting from what's gonna be on the inside of the card. So now let's set that aside, and let's grab our scrap paper here in a Memento Black ink. And we're gonna ink up our stamp. And we'll stamp that image in. This is just a scratch piece of paper because we are going to be die cutting this. You don't need a full sheet of paper. 
Now, I like to let my Memento ink dry for a few seconds. How long you would let it dry depends on the temperature in your room, the humidity in your room, probably just how much you're going to really be soaking that Memento ink. So, I have a piece that I've already let dry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to start first with the light paper pumpkin. And I'm literally just going to fill in the full flowers. Now, if you're not familiar with the Stampin' Blends, they are an alcohol-based marker. And they will bleed through your paper. So you want to make sure that you have some kind of a, a sheet like our 11 by 17 grid paper or something underneath. Because, again, they will bleed through. Which means you also want to be really careful that you're not coloring over top of elements of your project. So, And I'm, and I'm laying my, my pen slightly at a tilt. I don't want to ruin the tip. I'm not mashing straight up and down. I've got it laid sideways that'll keep my tip preserved for as long as possible and the blends are sold in color combinations of light and dark but in this case I'm mixing and matching I have the light pumpkin pie and the darker calypso coral um, they're sold individual or in combinations or in a full set and with celebration coming, it would be a good time to take the plunge and just get the whole full set because you'll get at least two free celebration items. And then if you add the wink and the color lifter you're going to see here in just a second, then you could get three free items as well as host benefits. Blends can also be added to our starter kit. So that's uh, another positive for you. So I just kind of touched up around the flower in different places, and I'm going to come back in and just kind of blend those colors in that I had. And I could go darker, I could go lighter. I'll show you the, this one here that I had already colored once before. I can come in as, if I want to as well with the color lifter and take a little bit of color out. So up here on these the tips up here, I can just kind of pull a little bit of that color out, and that'll just add a third dimension to what, what you're doing. I like to use um, the, the lines that are part of the leaves and the flowers as what I call natural shading lines. So in this case, I'm just going to take the darker olive, and I'll literally just kind of walk along those lines. Everybody has their own style for coloring and what they do and how they blend. I will be honest, I am not an artist. I pretend to be. No, I love thinking that I'm an artist. Um, and there's different kinds of arts out there. But the kind that has all that beautiful shading and watercoloring, that's not me. But blends makes me feel that way. I am absolutely in love with the way that blends make me feel because of the results that I get with them. Take somebody whose strong suit is not coloring, not staying in the lines, and just makes them feel artsy. Oh my gosh, it's just self-confidence. It's a cool thing to have. Blends gives it to me. Okay. And then lastly, I would go ahead and take my wink, and I would just cover the whole flowers. Nothing like a little extra sparkle just to make it all pop. And remember, there's a frame light, and you're going to be able to die cut that image. So now we're going to come back here to our card. And I need to have an idea of about where it's going to go on there so I know where to put the adhesive. I don't want to put any adhesive on the acetate. I just simply want it to be on the leaves that are going to be on the black cardstock because I don't want it to show through when I open my project up. And I love that it does bleed through. It kind of gives a, a color on the background. It's not just those plain white flowers. So in this case, the blends bleeding is a very, very positive, good thing. And now let's grab our greeting. And we'll open our ink back up again. And there you have it. Pretty little peekaboo window card. All of the supplies can be ordered beginning January 3rd from the spring catalog, and you can um, get more details on all of that, as well as our celebration offerings in the link in the YouTube description below. So thanks for popping by, guys.